Susan, my deepest condolences. Thank you. Mara. Mara, yes, thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. We are all gonna terribly miss him. Yes, it was a terrible shock. Death is such a shock. I mean, one minute you're just standing there, and then the next thing you know, death says boo, and someone drops down dead. What were your husband's last words? Were they boo? What, boo? No, he didn't have any last words. God, you poor, poor thing, Susan. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, this is gonna take a little while. You should sit down. God, you're all alone in that house. Alone in the dining room. Alone in the kitchen. Alone in the living room. <laughs> living room. That's like a mocking phrase to you now, isn't it? Alone, alone, alone. All alone. Oh, okay, please, please, don't, don't go on. Susan, you have to mourn. You have to. The Irish, their right to do that keening at the funeral. Would you like to keen, Susan? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe some other time. What about a Negro spiritual? <laughs> I'd rather not. Sweet and low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me please, home. Please, please, stop, please. You don't, stop. You don't want to sing? No, I don't want to sing. I'm an Episcopalian, so what I'll do later on tonight is I'll cry my eyes out. But for right now, I have to tune to the mourners. Susan, you are avoiding sadness. I can't let you do that. Please, please let me do this. I've had a long, rough day. Now if you excuse me, I have to bury my husband. I'm gonna miss him too, you know. You're not the only one wearing sorrow on their forehead. What? It's permanent marker, it doesn't wash off. I'm really gonna miss your husband on the morning commute. He was the only one that would actually talk to me. All the other passengers would get panic in their eyes every single time I'd start walking towards them. They would like move away or they pretend to be sleeping, but you can't fool me, I'm no dope. You can't sleep standing up. Okay, uh, Mara, is it? Yes, it was very nice meeting you. Goodbye. Wait, are you leaving right now? No, I'm not leaving. I want you to leave. You are making me hysterical. You Don't you get it? When I say nice to meet you, goodbye, that means leave now. Don't you understand it? No, I thought thank you for coming meant just that. I'm sorry. Um, is there anything else that you said that I've misunderstood? No. No, I don't think so. That's good. Oh, great. Now I feel bad about expressing my emotions. No, no, you can't feel bad about expressing your emotions. That's a good thing. Susan, you have experienced a terrible loss. Yes, I have. Are you sure you're not ready to keen yet? I'm not Irish, but I think that this is an appropriate time at the funeral. No, maybe some other time. No, Thank you. this is the most likely time. Well, what does keening sound like exactly? I mean, it's, it's kind of like low. It's... Stop it! I'm sorry, did I do something wrong again? That was a very terrible sound you just made. Well, it's like a very dramatic cry. And I love to cry. You love your husband. Yes. So don't you want to keen just a little? Um, can I just do this over the phone with you later on tonight? No, no, no. Keening has to happen at the funeral. You can't do something like this on the phone. Oh, um, I don't think so. Maybe some other time. No, I really think this will help.